What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, welcome back to AM Island Vibes. That's right, we are live, directed, in effect. Ah, hope you guys are having an awesome, beautiful day. I'm here with another reaction video. Just in case you was wondering, I am. So we have Young Don the Sauce God himself. Bad barbers, bad haircuts. Trust me, fellas, we all have that. We all have down. Oh, let's not talk about I, I don't have a proper hairline, so I always have a bit. I, you know, I can't say I always have a bad haircut. Some days, my barber, I don't know, don't don't ask me where he find me, but sometimes he's actually find one here line. He's fine, like this, this right here is a line, straight down. Straight down. And some days he's fine like a little curve. I'd be like, okay, I know he's fine, but he's fine. I said I'd have to give him a little extra tip just for that. But hope you guys are having an awesome day. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below if you're new to this channel. You know, let's just get into it. I, I, I'm a fan of him, for sure. Fan. We'll tip the barber. Ain't that some shit. But well, that's just what you do. Hold up. You ever get a bad haircut and still tip the barber? Facts. He just said something that most men out here was like, true. Ain't that some shit. But that's just what you do. If the cut's sixteen dollars, you slide him a twenty and tell him to keep the change. That's just how my dad yep. raised me. Yep. You like always that. tip the barber, and that's just because you want a good relationship with the man that cuts your hair. There are three men in every man's life that you want a good relationship. Hold on, let me see if I can remember. Your barber, ah, uh, your mechanic. Uh, I want to say a doctor. Let me, let, me, let me put those three out, see what's up, what he said. Father, oh. your coach, and your barber. Okay. Because remember. all three of these niggas have the power to make your life miserable. Okay, now that he said like that. Yeah. He can whoop your ass, ground you, not give you money. Yup. No power. He ain't lying. Coach, he can bench you for the whole season. Don't and play. the whole school looking at you like you a scrub. And your barber, he can be the difference maker for whether yeah. or not you're going to talk to that girl in the hallway. Yeah. Because that's all it takes. A bad fade or a shitty tape can ruin your entire game. Yeah. Because what does your ability to talk to girls hinge on? A good haircut? No. Confidence. And nothing ruins a man's confidence like a pushed back hairline. <laughs> Especially when that shit starts to grow back. You ever wear a hat for like a week just to give your hairline a chance to recover from the massacre that is in your Because I know I have. And that's why I don't go to barbershops. That's right. I've been cutting my own hair since I was 16 years old. Okay. Taught myself using YouTube. Shout out to 360Gs. I have saved thousands of dollars on haircuts. But the crazy thing is, I don't even do it for the money anymore. I do it because I don't trust new barbers. When I started cutting my own hair, I had a good barber. I was just broke. And a good haircut can run you like, what, $20? So I said, forget this. I'm going to learn to cut my own hair. And of course, I fucked up my hair. <laughs> but you know what? Let me do it, okay? I'm not going to pay you $20 to, to mess, mess me up. up. Nah, I can put it by myself. <laughs> of course, like everything else, practice makes perfect. Now, I'm still not that nice. Like, I can't get my hair looking like this, especially when you only have a chance to practice like once a week. But now, I'm good enough to the point where I get compliments on my haircuts, which is good enough for me. So, I got a little money now. You know, 1.5 million. Like and subscribe, you feel me? Y'all trying to see my new car? Ooh, Why you got dressed? Your boy got the Porsche truck. Just kidding. <laughs> That's my car over there. But you want to know how you really got a little cash in your pocket is when you got rich white neighbors. <laughs> I still cut my own hair to this day. Not because of the money, but because I moved. The last good barber that I could trust was in Broward, Florida. Now I live in Austin, Texas, which is very white. It's white barbers cutting white dudes' hair. And that's a risk I'm not willing to take. And I know there are good white barbers out there, but good white barbers are like white girls with fat asses. They're hard to come by and even harder to book an appointment with. You're competing with too many niggas. Now good black barbers, 
are like black girls with fat ass. A lot yeah. more to choose from, but they're all in Houston. And I live in Austin, so oh. I continue to cut my hair. I did take a chance recently, though, because I don't like cutting my hair. <laughs> I cut my hair once a week for the same reason I get my car washed once a week. Bitches, duh, I, I know you saw that coming. Right. But yeah. I did take a chance recently, though, a few months ago. I found this one black barber shop. It's not really near me. It's in Pflugerville, which is a whole city over. But they did have some cold barbers. Like, it was nice. I checked out their Instagram. But these dudes were in such high demand that none of them were taking new clients. None of them, except for one. Now, he was black, but there are plenty of bad black barbers. So, I was still hesitant <laughs> when he said he was down to cut me on the spot, no appointment. That was the <laughs> Everybody else is booked till fucking next year and you're just sitting here on your phone. That's bad. That alone didn't mean he was gonna be. Yo, fellas never, fellas know that. Never go to that bar and be like, well, cut. He just sitting there chilling like you say. On your phone? Nah, that's a problem. Bad. Apparently he just started working at this shop. Maybe. He hasn't built up a clientele. Okay. So I asked him if he had any pictures. That was bad sign number two. Not because the haircuts look bad in the pictures, but because I couldn't tell if the haircuts were good. And that's because he had a shitty Android phone. Oh, now, there's man. nothing wrong with having a phone like that. I've had several, but I've never, ever met a good barber with a shitty camera phone. They just don't go together. But I'd already driven like 45 minutes just to get there and I had a date that night. So I said, fuck it. I sit in his chair and he starts to cut my hair, which he only had to do the sides and line me up. So we get to talking wow. and he tells me that he's been cutting hair for like 13 years. Okay. You know, being a barber has got him off the streets. He okay. used to sell drugs, gang bang, you know, okay. hood nigga shit, which I gotta say made me feel so much more comfortable. Okay. Something about you being from the hood makes me more confident in your barbering skills. So I start to relax. I was like, Close your eyes. maybe I've done it. Maybe I finally found my guy. So he finishes up, turns me around to look in the mirror. I look at myself and I could only think one thing. This guy I should go back to selling drugs. Fuck my whole <laughs> shit up. I had to wear a beanie on the date. Never went back. One of the worst part about it was. And I still told that. He <laughs> <laughs> so you should go back to selling drugs. <laughs> well, let me see. Hold up. <laughs> let me go back. So, nigga, I had to wear a beanie on the date. Never went back. You wanna know what the worst part about it was? You tipped him. I still told that nigga to keep the change, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Make yeah. sure to like the video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit yeah. that notification bell so you never miss a video. You never know when we drop. Okay, so yeah. Man, maybe maybe something. Four else. days could be four weeks. This shit is crazy, man. So, also, last thing, go to the merch shop, cop some merch, you know, some. Okay, yeah. He's just doing some self promotion. But yeah, though, it be like that. That nigga mess you up and you still tip him? It be like that. I understand. I understand. All the, all the fathers be like, yeah, it be like that. It be like that. Lady, that's like somebody doing your, your, your wigs and your, you doing your lace fronts and all them fronts and whatever fronts. And they mess up and you still give them a tip. You know? It's stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button down in the wait. I was just smash the like button in the comments. <laughs> smash the like button on the video. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Yeah, I was running out of breath just now. I'm gonna go side to pause and <laughs> recuperate. But yeah. Then until the next one. Remember, the world is yours. Peace.